Let me sort of start by sharing the legacy of what I want to build. Uh, I work in the field of health and I want people to look at their health, not in terms of good or bad, uh, what to do, what not to do, but in terms of what they can do more of or less of. Now, irrespective of what else is happening in life, the message is health is a priority within whatever else is happening in our lives. It's a personal philosophy developed out of exploration and experimentation. What I do today is I educate people to grow a health mindset. I develop skills that are sk uh, health enabling and build behaviors that help people move forward with their health journey. So I help you magnify your life. I help you own your health now and in the years ahead. Uh, someone said that, you know, you teach best what you most need to learn. And I think this 100% relates to my own health and my coaching journey. Uh, being healthy is not a one perfect place that we all need to be at. Unlike what social media says, it's a journey. And it's, it's about being a little healthier today than we were yesterday. That's my coaching philosophy and the strength of all the coaching and consulting work that I do. Uh, to put forward a few statistics, and these pertain to India, uh, though the situation is as grave, uh, if not worse, in other parts of the world. Today, 49% of Indians are diabetic, and this number is supposed to double by 2025. 40% of the country is either obese or overweight. India is also the most depressed country in the world, uh, followed closely by China and the US. We've seen a 35% increase in uh, cardiovascular disease in the last 10 years. And bear in mind that all these conditions do well with lifestyle and health coaching. So this is my potential market for education and a portion of this is for my coaching. My own journey to become a health coach uh, started long before I even aspired to be one. I did my undergraduate uh, from Delhi University in Food and Nutrition, got uh, an MBA in Human Resources, spent 15 years in consulting and the industry as an educational, worked across uh, India, Melbourne, Australia, uh, Singapore, and I currently live in the US. So somewhere between uh, Singapore and India, I uh, decided to transition into becoming a health coach. And this is my second uh, innings uh, career, so to speak. All my insights and learnings that I teach about and talk about uh, are basically due to, uh, you know, my own life's journey. And uh, that's a story in its own place. Today, I am a accredited health coach. I am a nutritional consultant and a behavioral change specialist. My venture is called the Balanced Bandwagon and the Balanced Bandwagon is a deep uh, holistic health framework which rests on four wheels, the bandwagon four wheels, which are movement, nourishment, mindfulness and relaxation. And these are the areas that I educate, consult and coach upon. I formally began the venture about a year back. Uh, today I work with individual clients virtually across uh, geographies uh, such as uh, uh, the Middle East, uh, Singapore, India, Australia, and of course, uh, the US. And I think my biggest asset today is the client success stories that I've been a part of. I also am working with a company uh, called Tarang Alliance in India to be able to push for introducing health education as a, a, a curriculum in schools today in India. I also publish and write for Forbes. Um, my plans for the year ahead, I'm working at developing a coaching format for my business to be able to, a group coaching format for my business to be able to scale it up. I'm looking to enter the corporate uh, the wellness and health arena. I am seeking, actively seeking more speaking opportunities and platforms to be able to showcase myself. And finally, uh, I'm, what I'm really excited about is an idea that I had last year for a technology enabled individual health behavioral assessment tool that I'm working uh, on uh, with a company out of Dubai. Uh, that's about it. That's me today. And uh, thank you so much for having me.